Hello again, Year 2s. I hope you've had a fantastic weekend. I'm geared up for some exciting maths learning this week. Thank you again for sending in all your lovely work and uh, showing us your reasoning and your responses to your extra challenges have been fantastic. So well done and keep up on the good, good work. Uh, grab your journals as we do always and your learning partner and let's begin. So our in focus task for today says Sam and Ruby have these coins with them. So this is Sam and these are his coins and this is Ruby and these are her coins. I'd like you to pause the video and talk to your learning partner and tell me how much does each child have? How have you used your thinking to explain how much Sam has and how much money Ruby has? It might be worth looking at some clues on this slide as well to help you. And then we'll come back together, support the video and have a go. OK, when you are counting up your coins, you must remember that we have got some coins which are pounds and some coins which are pennies or pence, okay? So it's always a good idea to count the pounds first. So if you've got any pound coins or notes, you count them up first, okay? And then you add the pennies. So for example, Sam here has one pound, so I'm going to find my pound symbol on my keyboard and he's got 20, 30, 35, 40, 40 pence or pennies, okay? So that's how we record writing our, um, how much money we've got. Now in Ruby's case, she's got two pounds um, to begin with, and then we add up our pennies. Could you record how much money Ruby's got in your journals the way I have shown you on for Sam? Could you pause the video and have a go at writing how much money Ruby's got for me, just like I have done for Sam, and then we can move on. Okay. So we're going to do our learning together this time and we're going to practice how precisely we're going to count up our coins, okay? So the first step is to count on to find the amount. So you've got your pound coin, okay? That's how much Sam's got. So Sam's got a one pound coin and then counting on all our pennies together, okay? So he's got 20, 30, 35 and 40 pence. So he's got 40 pence all together plus the one pound. And we recorded, like Mrs. Sweeney showed you in the previous slide, as one pound and 40 pence. Okay? Now, if you are going to check your work for Ruby's amount, so let's have a look. So Ruby had a two pound coin and then she had some pennies as well. So we're going to count the two pounds and we're going to keep it there and then we're going to count up our pennies together, okay? So there's 50 pence, adding 20 makes 70 and adding 10 more makes 80 pence, okay? So Ruby has two pounds and 80 pence. Now it says here Sam has five coins and Ruby has four coins. Who has more money? Can you pause the video and have a discussion with your learning partner and come back together? Excellent. You are right. Ruby has more money because she has got a pound more than um, Sam and she's also got 40 pence more than Sam as well. So she's got, got a pound and 40 pence more than Sam. 
Okay, now just a quick reminder that it's always good when you're counting up your money or your amount that you have to separate your coins into pounds and then pence. Okay, so start adding um, your pounds and then when you're adding your pence, just like we did in the first lesson, you start with the highest pence first. Okay, so you've got your 50, which is the highest of the biggest pence coin you've got. And then you add your next um, pennies all together. Okay, I hope that makes sense. And if you're not sure, pause the video or go back and check from last week's learning again, just to remind yourself. Okay, let's move on. Now here again, I'd like you to have a go by pausing the video with your learning partner at home, remembering what I just said. Now, here you've got to write the amount of money that's shown. And I've already reminded you that you add up your coins with the, with the largest value at the beginning, okay? Now, here it's already in order for you, so you just have to count on. And then you're going to tell me or tell your learning partner the answer, okay? And for question B, we are just putting our pounds together and then adding on our pence, okay? And for question two, have a practice with your learning partner. Show them using the coins the amount of money. So how would you show 25 pence and how would you show 74 pence, okay? So pause the video and have a go at doing some of this guided practice and we'll come back together again. Okay. For today's worksheet, you have got questions that look a bit like this, okay? Now, all you have to do is write the amount of money shown, okay? Either in your journals or if you've got a printed worksheet, you write it in the box here. My advice would be, again, to go back and look at how we modelled it together. So you're looking at your coins and thinking, mm, I can't see any pounds there, so there's no pounds, okay? But they're all pence coins. But I'm going to put them in order of the largest one first, okay? And just check that they're in order and tell me how much money there is in the box, okay? So go through it very carefully with your learning partner and check through your work. So that's sheet number one. And there's your sheet number two, which is a matching exercise. Now on the left hand side, which is this side, it tells you how much money there is. Okay, you have got to check the coins and then match it to the correct value. What I would like you to do is not look at the left hand side at all. In fact, cover it with your hand or put a piece of another piece of paper or a book just to cover it up. What you're going to do is write the money, the amount of money you've got in pencil under uh, each uh, box here. Okay, so you're going to check that the coins are in order and you're going to write how much there is and that would make your life a bit easier when you're actually going to match your work to the other side. So put your hand on the left hand side, cover it up. In fact, I'm going to show you what I mean, okay? So you're going to cover it up like this and you're going to write in pencil how much money there is in each box. So you're going to count up your coins just like we did ordering the largest uh, coin first, okay? And the same, ha same case for the, the notes as well. And I want to remind you that notes are also pounds. Um, okay, they also have pounds in them. So you need to count, you need to do the same uh, uh, way of counting as you would with the coin. So you put the highest value first and you write your answer at the bottom for each question. Okay, and then you take away your book and then you start matching it. I would find that easy and I hope you will too. Okay, you've got some extra challenges this week. Okay, so it says Sam and Ruby are trying to show 95 pence. 
you've got to check who is correct and explain your answer. And how do you know who is correct? Is Sam correct or is Ruby correct? Next, you've got to net the extra challenge and it says, I have six coins and then this person says I have three coins. And this person thinks Lulu here has the most amount of money. Do you agree with them? Explain your answer. Now, I know you can do this. You've been fantastic so far. Any time you find it tricky, pause the video, go back and listen to our modeling again, okay? What steps do you need to take while you're counting up your amounts? You've got this year twos, and I can't wait to see your work. Here's the email address again if you need it. Be safe and see you again soon for more learning.